Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm so excited. I'm back, ninnies. I'm back. It's time to get this stuff cracking again. Stuff's been gone for a hot month. Month. Just did a video about traveling on keto, how I was able to remain easily in a strict, fully adapted keto state without being compromised once. There is no excuse, especially going through townships of South Africa where people live in abstract poverty. So I don't complain. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see that tour through Soweto. All right, guys, where I was like, yo, you know, because they got handlers. I was like, tell me the truth. Don't give me the tourist version of Soweto. Let's hear the truth. But even the tourist version was like profound. It was shocking. All right, here we go. Calories. So I did a post on my Facebook page about calories. And I said, do calories matter? And of course, 90% of the people are saying, yes, they matter. No, they don't. They do not matter. So let's go into why they do not matter. Now, I'm going to use myself as the example. All right? I will be 50 next year, 2017. Now, uh, I can't run or jump or lunge or squat. So my calories out, right, is limited. I'm not able to, you know, I can't even jump now, jump now, right? People are like, you're jumping. I'm like, that's not my, my good leg, not my bad leg. Bad leg can't jump, not whatsoever. So I cannot run, jump, lunge, or squat. I cannot use or just muscle groups on the body. So how am I able to burn off the calories from the 22 to 2400 calories that I eat a day and sometimes higher with 80 to 85% fat? Do the math on that, people. Almost 50? Busted knee? I've had a very difficult time to build up muscle structure on my legs to even be metabolically active. Now, I've done pretty well for uh, the injuries that I have. Done pretty well. But uh, they still are not as developed as my upper body because of, let's say, my hip needs to be replaced now. And uh, both knees are problematic, even though the left one I've had 10 surgeries on. And I ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> so, so why am I not gaining weight? If the calories that I'm taking in are not being burned off through exercise. You know? If I go to the gym for three hours, I'm not working out for three hours. Trust. I'm breathing. I'm stretching, you know, I'm doing a lot of um, parasympathetic relaxation techniques between anything, ex between anything explosive because we're dealing with a frame that's had a lot of beat up on it, yeah? So I can't just push the body to the limit because my body will push back and say no. Uh, for example, doing a lot of stuff prior to my trip and I pulled my hip flexor and then sitting on that plane for so many hours on the way over there just swelled up. So I could barely walk the first week and a half that I was there. You know, this body has been through a lot. So I can't just, you know, just grind it. I have to be very careful with it. So if I'm not, if I'm not able to, to do all this exertive exercise, especially with these large muscles, how am I able to eat 2,400 calories of 80% fat? I'm going to tell you how it's done. Number one. I've been in a state of ketosis or highly adapted because there's levels of your adaptation for over seven years. So there's been no refeeds back onto carbohydrates. Over time, your body becomes more highly adapted or highly, um, um, your body is more easily able to use viable ketones without diverting back to glucose as fuel. That means that all of this effort to be more in and find the balance, that homeostatic balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic is paramount. You have to design those parts of your day. They become the most important thing in my life. 
So my adrenal glands, which I always talk about in 98% of all my videos, is the shite. Because you've got to have good metabolic health, which is here, 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 and here, which is also reproductive in gut. All those sy systems must be metabolically strong. Of course, you have your muscular system and your nervous system. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the hypothalamus, pituitary axis, your thyroid, your adrenals, your reproductive hormones, and your gut. So to get them in balance, once they're in balance, the fight or flight response goes down exponentially. And now your body can rest and digest at the times it needs to, to then access those ketones. So I've got muscular development. I've got good, flow, glute, good glute 4 receptor response, which means if I do exert myself and produce glucose during a workout, which we all do because that's what we're de designed for, even though we run on ketones, I can access and use that glucose rather than store it. This also helps my pancreas, pancreas becomes more, become more balanced, meaning I become more insulin sensitive. So I don't, I'm not insulin resistant, which puts the body more in a stress position to if I'm producing glucose, I can then have a nice insulin response to put those amino acids into the muscle so they respond and then they essentially help to create and break down fat and use ketones into the Krebs cycle and into your brain. It's a nice perfect balance. It's that perfect anabolic catabolic balance. So when I'm doing nothing, I'm accessing fat. When I'm picking my nose, I'm accessing fat. When I'm picking my butt and my G-string out of my freaking workout pants, I'm accessing fat. And you're not. And that is why I can eat and eat and eat and not exercise a lot and still earn a crap load of what? Calories, actually fat, without compromising muscle because of the, the lack of that fight or flight catabolic response. I'm more anabolic because I'm insulin sensitive, guys. And these metabolic processes, these steps are what matter more than calories. Because if I ate 500 calories from steak and 500 calories from cookies, your body is going to digest and metabolize both foods differently. But they're both 500 calories. That's why calories don't matter. They don't matter. Now, the amount of nutrition that you need to sustain skin, bone, brain health, yes. If you eat air, you're going to die. There is a certain amount of food that you have to eat to maintain the body health, the the cellular structure, but not like, you know, your body doesn't do math mathematical equations. You know, I'm on the treadmill and the treadmill says that I just burn 800 calories because if you're metabolically, metabolically broken or in starvation mode, there are women that go down to 600 calories and don't lose a pound. So explain that to a woman who's got no problem with her lower extremities and goes, does cardio twice a day on 600 calories and doesn't lose a pound then blows out her thyroid. There's a lot for us to think about, guys. Let's just get the ball rolling on the subject. That's it. Just the ball rolling. You know, get your guys' thoughts to think of new things. You count macros on ketosis. You need to flood the bloodstream with fat to get the brain to stop being addicted to glucose. But we don't think in those terms. We sit there and count our calories. Count your macros. Because you need enough fat to get in to create fat breakdown while putting your body into a parasympathetic state because you can't be sympathetic and drive your fat real high and be in, get into ketosis and I have a thousand videos explaining why. So if you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. You can go to Stephanie, the business person, my Facebook fan page for more uh, understanding about the body because that's what I like to post about. I did post my trip, but typically I post more about the body. Uh, you can go to Stephanie Keto Denik on my Instagrammy. Stephanie the Biz. No, I don't even know. It's all these stupid names, right? Steph the Business. I'm a Periscope because those are live broadcasts, which I love. Or you can go and check out my new downloadable diets because I need to stop using poor quality videos to do uh, my uh, little lovely YouTube post vlogs. Um, and um, yeah, I got to take it next level. So I've got. 
downloadable plans that I worked really hard on that cover anyone who's average to fit to people who've got hypoglycemia, obesity, and metabolic damage, and also histamine intolerance. I've created plans for everyone. And a small recipe document. Okay, guys. That's it. So y'all know what to do. I'm about to peace out, and I am so grateful that I'm back in the U.S. Because every time I travel, I become more grounded and centered, and that's why I don't complain about avocados. Peace.